Hi, my name is Jack Scott. I'm a student at Fleming College, currently in my second year of the Ecological Restoration Program. During most of the second semester last year, I struggled with what I can only describe as depression and anxiety. I say it like that because I was never diagnosed with anything, and it wasn't until the summer afterwards when I started to feel better that I even realized how bad it was. As far as symptoms go, I'd say the thing that comes to mind first when I think about it is the feeling of dread I felt in the pit of my stomach every morning when I woke up. Sometimes it would be relatively easy to figure out what was causing the feeling. Maybe an assignment was due soon or something else school related. Other times though, I'd have no idea what it was. No big tests on the horizon, just another day in the life. And for whatever reason, it felt like something terrible was coming that I should probably be preparing for immediately. Speaking of mornings, for a while mine were pretty early. For no apparent reason, I'd be waking up at six or seven in the morning, right along with the sun. Sure, that's nothing crazy, but for me it was certainly out of character. And no matter what I tried to do to go back to sleep, nothing really seemed to work. Most of the time I felt too anxious to relax enough to sleep. Eventually I started sleeping with a mask on so that I wouldn't wake up with the sun. And that worked for sleeping, later, sleeping in later, but when I did wake up I still felt the same. When I did get out of bed, eating was usually the last thing on my mind. In fact, most mornings I was physically sick to my stomach. Despite this, I knew I needed to eat. But since the thought of actually eating something made me nauseous, I made smoothies instead, which really helped. They were a nice way to get some good fuel in the tank, so to speak, um, when regular food really wasn't uh, appetizing. Um, as far as my day goes, most of them were spent doing schoolwork, or at least that was the plan. Uh, most of the time I'd spend more time procrastinating than doing work and then dreading having to do it than actually studying. Needless to say, this also didn't help with the way I was feeling. It's also caused me to be pretty hard on myself because I felt like getting the work done was something that I should be reasonably able to do and I just wasn't doing it. This of course led me to feeling bad about myself for not getting work done, so then I'd watch a movie or something to take my mind off it, which means less work gets done. And school was certainly an aspect of my life causing me a lot of stress. Um, but another thing I haven't really talked about as much so far um, that was causing me stress, whether I knew it or not, was my social life, or more accurately, a lack thereof. I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is all taking place during the first year of the COVID pandemic, right in the middle of one of the more severe lockdowns, if I remember correctly. Mostly the only reason I'd leave my house for any reason was to get groceries or for any other essential trips. Now, I'm not a super social person by nature, and I had a hard time making friends during my first year at school due to the lockdown for sure, but I also really wasn't trying to reach out to anyone. For some reason, I just assumed friends would find me. All of this contributed to what I can describe in a word as loneliness, which certainly didn't help the way I was feeling. Towards the end of the semester, I realized that things needed to change. There was no way I could keep feeling this way every day. It just wasn't doable. With about a month left in the semester, I signed up for the counseling service that Fleming College offers. Here I got a chance to talk about what was going on with someone qualified to tell me what it all means. And we also developed some strategies to manage my symptoms. One of these that worked really well was going for a walk in the mornings. Instead of worrying about my day when I got up, I started going out for walks and doing something physical to get my day started. This helped the feeling of general doom I mentioned earlier go away, or at least fade into the background enough that it wasn't dominating my days. Once the semester ended and I moved back home, the symptoms I was experiencing started to fade away. Being with my family, having a more structured day as a result of my summer job, not to mention I love my summer job, all that helped with starting to feel better. I'm still in school now, second year currently, and this year has been much better. The lockdowns have been much less strict, a uh, bunch more social opportunities around, um, and accordingly, I'm going, to, going out to the bar now and again, right? We've got some new roommates as well. Um, and I've made some friends with a few like-minded people from my program, which is nice. It's like I say, I'm not a super social social person, so keeping my circle of friends small is fine by me. There are also a lot more school-related field trips allowed to happen, which has really let me engage with the material and learn to love it. The passion being something that was sorely missing last year as a result of having to learn about nature from behind a computer screen. I hope that listening to my experiences today will help people who are struggling with something similar. I think the biggest shock about the whole thing to me was that I didn't realize what was happening until it was over. I hate to think that there are people out there who are suffering, who aren't getting help because they think everything is just okay. Well, as I record this, it's final exam season, so I better get back to the books. I hope that this video has been helpful to anyone listening, um, and if there's any students listening, good luck on your exams. You got this.